Hey guys, welcome to Mystical 33. My name is Ray, and this one here we're going to look into Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda. I will have timestamps for you down below, along with information about personal readings and my social media platforms. We're going to start off with looking into the current energy between Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda. The current energy between them. Immediately starting off with a water sign. I don't know who that would be, to be honest with you. You guys tell me, of course. Trying to balance their path out with an earth sign. How is this relevant? Are they like this, a monkey in the middle with their energies? Why do we have this king of cups first off? How is this king of cups? Relevant to Sean Mendez and Jocelyn. How does this King of Cups relate to Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda? How does this King of Cups relate to Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda? Thank you. Okay, their path is secret, but they're dealing with some sort of challenge here with, it looks like trying to receive happy energy very happy energy with an earth sign here trying to defeat their path this person is fantasizing a relationship with this person Why do we have this King of Cups here for Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda, please? There's like some sort of turmoil that happened between them. It's almost like they're to bring in some sort of healing, so they're really kind of playing a monkey in the middle here. Yeah, because they're going to socialize about how they feel stuck with this person. They're stagnant energy. They can't move forward. They're feeling pain because they're out in the cold. It's tricky for them to be able to move forward to this person. I can see this person coming to them for help. This person's trying to okay, communicate with this Queen of Pentacles. It's almost as though that they're going to be part of the socializing here. This King of Cups is going to come and talk to them and about how they feel sad about not having connected energy with this Queen of Pentacles anymore. And it's like they miss their energy and they need help moving towards this energy here. So it looks like currently somebody is reaching out to them to help them find a crossroad within their path to find a balance at least some sort of foundation of a balance on their path with this queen of pentacles what is sean mendez's current energy towards uh, jocelyn please what's that say sean mendez to sean mendez that doesn't make sense it does but anyway 
Shawn Mendes, current energy towards Jocelyn Miranda, please. Shawn Mendes, current energy towards Jocelyn Miranda. Sean Linda's current energy towards Jocelyn and Miranda, please. Defeating challenges by talking about, it's almost like opening up about the past. It's almost like discussing about how their eyes have opened up to basically realizing a lot of actions that have created apathy in them and things that they've kept to themselves and also seeing things, situations where they were kept, they were basically excluded because it was very destructive and it might have even caused fear in them too and worry, create sadness with how the just help the scales had turned out for them in certain scenarios. So I really see them talking about how they can change things from the past and make things better for themselves. It's basically like learning from the past and applying it to the current path between them really opening up here. Shawn Mendes current energy towards Jocelyn. He is sharing with her his deep, deep, deep feelings here where he feels as though he might have sabotaged himself in the path, things that he's holding on very closely to. Yeah. like things that he regrets in his past he's opening up but it looks like this information might wind up moving towards a water sign here masculine energy water sign that somebody fears Okay. Opening up and communicating, sharing information. Things that are very close, deep down inside, working on oneself from past issues here. Really calling her to help heal him inside, internally and spiritually too. With how his path is, things that he, he regrets, he's not too happy about. Trying to see the happy, happier side, side of things rather than being focused on the dread, things that he feels very sad and just depleted is what I'm hearing. Really down and out about situations that have happened in the past, which in the past there are things that we, I mean, we can't change what happened in the past. The past is the past. But things from the past change things later on for us in life sometimes too. All right, so now we're going to look into Jocelyn's energy towards Sean. What is Jocelyn's energy towards Sean Mendes? Interesting. Mm. Feeling very apathetic about this Queen of Swords energy. 
it looks like they're coming in and interfering what's going on between them. It looks like they're creating this energy of depletion. She's, she's trying to make grounded decisions like good decisions and everything with this new occurrence that causes stress. But however, it makes her see things from another perspective and where energies have been placed. It's almost like adding things up here, like certain things make sense now. It's almost, it could be with how he does things a certain way. What is Jocelyn's energy towards Sean Mendez, please? It's almost like discussing about this lover a lot creates sadness. Jocelyn's current energy towards Sean Mendez, please. It's like a feared project from the past that has been blocked out, but also been stuck to. It's like conflicting energies with this Queen of Swords here. Grab the before thought and use them. This Queen of Swords, please. How is this Queen of Swords? relate to Jocelyn and Sean. What's the relation of this Queen of Swords to Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda? A type of crossroad uh, it's like a plan had went south and created apathetic energy. Tell me more about the relation, please. Investigating, taking actions. So it's like investigating, looking further into it. What is, why do we have this Queen of Swords here? What's the relation to Jocelyn, Miranda, and Shawn Mendes, please? It's almost like stubbornness of this Queen of Swords towards Jocelyn here. It's almost like this Queen of Swords intentionally wants to create stress. The relation of this Queen of Swords to Jocelyn and Shawn Mendes, please. I'm hearing masculine. So if I, I wonder if it's a chain connection to Sean. It's a chain connection. It's almost like they're making stressful grounded decisions. Like decisions that are bound to be stressful but it, it transitions like it removes any type of stagnant air and creates movement here and a type of path that they see is valuable that's been blocked
trying to create something new here with Sean Mendez. So it's a past energy that's trying to sneak in and become his empress again. So this Queen of Swords is coming in and creating stress. It's almost like Shawn Mendes kind of re like basically regrets having a relation with this Queen of Swords here in the past. But he's going to open up about things that he's afraid that's going to be passed on to a whole bunch of energies that's going to create a whole bunch of stress and drama, which it seems like they're kind of dealing with a little bit of right now with their the reading for their current energy. All over the place, so many energies. It's almost like being charged at from all different angles. So now we're going to take a quick little look into the future between them. What does the future look like between Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda? Making ground decisions on what's being held on tight, which will film is communicating about them, finding healing, and bringing in a powerful happiness. On a project here. Okay, balancing out the scales, spell an Empress situation. Dealing with this air sign here, being broken free. The future between Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda. This Empress situation is definitely a powerful situation he's dealing with. There is some sort of powerful movement that is being manifested within the path here. Nightmares, fears, and worries are going to be depleted here. Stressful news coming in. To them and causing a burden from the past. Something in the past is going to be bringing in and causing heartache and pain. The secret information is going to be seen from another perspective. There's so many connected energies here. The King of Cups. There's the King of Swords behind this Fool card. So I see that the energy that he is afraid that's going to find out, it's going to find out, it looks like. It's almost like something's going to be exposed of him that, that's connected to this Queen of Swords that he doesn't want to be exposed. Could you give us more insight on what's laid out here, please? Could you give us more insight on what's laid out here for the future between Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda? There's going to be conflict that's going to be brought up that's been held on tightly to. It's like somebody wants answers or wants some sort of justice out of the situation. Now here we have the King of Pentacles. What the hell?
it's like these energies create damper on him feeling like his em emperor energy and also the fact of being able to have control and authority on his path like be able to basically be in the driver's seat because of all these energies that create stagnant energy for him Well, really, all in all, both of them. But it seems as though it's coming from his side. More insight on what's laid out here for the future between Sean Mendez and Jocelyn Miranda, please. It's almost like back and forth energy. Like there is investigation in the past energies. It's almost like both energies are looking into each other and their paths. And it includes all these energies. It's almost like having to use utilize these other energies, these molt because it's like we almost have Almost every single one of them showing up, guys. The Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups now, by the way. The King of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Cups, Queen of Wands, King of, King of Wands. Even the Queen of Pentacles has shown up during the reading, right? So there's a lot of energies that are involved. It looks like needing to, like, both sides, the past and Shawn Mendes. It seems so it's going to be on Shawn Mendes' side. If if not both, but it seems prominently on his side. All these energies are being utilized for in order to find like secret information out. About the whole Empress and trying to like revive this past energy of this Empress. It's all about the past energy and trying to revive it, holding on very tightly to it, trying to make grounded decisions during the process of holding on tight to it and becoming a, a project and putting all the thought and energy into it and how to get this to come to life, basically, how to resuscitate it. Somebody's trying to resuscitate it and another person really... doesn't seem much for of wanting to like we have asked about Shawn Mendes's energy towards Jocelyn it seems so he's opening up about his past because of it coming towards him interesting it's like it's conflicting energies it's being batted back and forth it looks like so anyways this is where I'm going to leave the reading off at if you did find yourself enjoying, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, you guys, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.